I don't like this. I've never liked this. And if you've watched some of my other videos explaining why I don't like this, you may not like it too. But if you haven't seen any of the other videos, I'll explain why I don't like it. First of all, the signal strength is very, very poor on it. Second of all, the screen resolution is very low. That's about it. For those two reasons, this to me is almost unusable. And most of the time when I'm flying my DJI Mini 3 Pro, I opt for the RCN1, which is a better controller. The only thing that the RCN1 doesn't have that this one does is the ability to zoom and move the gimbal at the same time. But I don't care about that because I never use a feature where I have to zoom and move the gimbal at the same time. So it doesn't matter to me. So I can't see any reason for using this controller over the RCN1, which is a stronger signal, a better screen, depending on the phone that you use it with, and it's just much more reliable. If you only have one RCN1, and you have a DJI Mini 2 and a DJI Mini 3 Pro, the problem is that you have to rebind each time you swap between the drones and you have to repair each time. That can be a little bit of a pain. What are the options? Well, you could always buy yourself another RCN1 so you have one for the DJI Mini 2 and one for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. But what if you only have the DJI Mini 3 Pro and you opted for the RM330? You're kind of stuck with a bad signal, a low resolution screen. What are you going to do about it? Well, you could opt for the RC Pro. Now, it's much, much more expensive than the RM330. And for the standard hobbyist, this might be more than you actually require. But the screen is a thousand nits on this one compared with 700 nits on the RM330. The recording, res the, the screen resolution is much higher and much clearer. The signal strength, I don't know if it's any better or not, but you have four antennas with this one. Two here, two external, and two internal antennas, or antennae if you prefer. Whereas you only have the two internals with the with the RM330. So it should have a better signal. The RC Pro has a lot of other features that the RM330 just doesn't have. It's got a lot of extra buttons that are all customizable, which means that you can change different settings and different things without having to go into the, the, the screen that allows you to do that. You can do it all on the fly from your controller. It has the two scroll wheels just like the RM330 so you can zoom in and move the gimbal at the same time if you want to. And it has another amazing thing that is very useful for me as a creator and that is that this has an HDMI out and that allows me or anyone who has the RC Pro to connect the RC Pro up to a large screen either a monitor or a TV which will allow you to see the camera view and toggle between the screen view showing you all the telemetry and you can toggle on the fly back and forth. So instead of having to look at this wee screen and try and work things out, especially with these 60 year old eyes, you can do it with a massive big screen and fly using the controller and looking at everything on a 65 inch screen, if you have one that big, or if you have just maybe a 27 inch monitor, which you can take out in your car, use a portable uh, supply, portable power supply to power it up, and you can sit in the back of your car, fly using this HDMI out into the big screen and look at the big screen. No more straining the old 60 year old eyes to try and work out, what's going on? Is that a sheep or a coo? What is that? So, 
that's one of the things that I really like about it. And it also allows me to do a few other things with this HDMI port that your normal hobbyist may not have a, a need to do. But as a creator, it's going to help me in an awful lot of ways. So, I'm going to test and compare two things today between the RC Pro and the RM330. And I'm going to test... <laughs> And I'm going to test the signal strength. Now, there's two parts of the signal strength that can be tested. One is the range. How far can you fly with this RC Pro with a strong signal or with any signal at all compared with the distance you can fly with the RM330? Can you fly further? Is, it going to, is the signal going to be stronger at a further distance? And the other thing that you can test you, about the signal is the penetration. How good is the signal behind trees, behind bushes, and even behind buildings? Does the RC Pro have a stronger signal behind bushes and trees and buildings than the RM330? That's what I'm going to test today. So I've picked an area that is covered in trees and bushes, and it's quite thick with the trees and bushes. Now, I expect that I'll, I will lose signal on both the RC Pro and the RM330. But we're going to see, is there a difference where the signal drops out? Is the signal stronger in one and the other? I don't know. Let's find out. You hold this map, I'll hold your hand. Take this love around the world Don't mind those crows buzzing around your head Nothing's gonna hurt your girl I believe you're here for a while Then we die But I believe this love is stronger than you and I Let's take the jeep along to my dad I know just the thing to do Don't mind the law hard on our heels No one's gonna come for you I believe we're here for a while Then we die So Caledonia flew for just over 400 metres at a height of 30 metres in an area that's packed with trees and bushes and a signal disappeared at just over 400 metres using the RC Pro. So there you go, it seemed to me that the signal strength on the RM330 is just not quite as good as the signal strength on the RC Pro as far as penetration goes. But what about the screen quality, the clarity and the brightness of the screen? What I can tell you using these 60 year old eyes is that of course as you'd expect the RC Pro screen is much clearer, much brighter and much easier to see. I was having a little bit of difficulty seeing the screen on the RM330 even although it's a cloudy day today it's still got a lot of ambient light and that makes it fairly difficult to see the screen using the RM330 but very easy to see the screen on the RC on the RC Pro so is that difference in the signal strength the penetration signal strength 
enough to make you want to spend the massive extra amount of cash on the RC Pro. The screen is a lot clearer, a lot easier to see. Does that help you make a decision about it? Are you more concerned about how far it can fly and still have a good signal strength? Because that's the next test I'll be doing, comparing the RC Pro with the RM330. So if you'd like to get a notification of when that video comes out, click the wee bell down below, give us a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, why not? Just click that subscribe button, won't cost you a penny, and it will do wonders for the channel. Thanks a lot, see you next time.